In this video, let's begin using one of the most important tools that Google provides. It's the Google Search Console. This is where you'll be able to track the rankings of every one of your pages for different keywords and do many, many other helpful SEO tasks. In fact, this tool you should be using regularly. So to go to this tool, you go to search.google.com slash search hyphen console welcome. We'll go there together. It takes you to this screen. If you already have a domain registered, all you have to do is enter this domain and click continue. If you're new to this tool, you'll enter a new website. I'll do that with you here. So I entered a new URL. Obviously, this is a made up URL. This website doesn't exist. And for almost all cases, when you have a new website, you would choose the domain option, not the URL prefix. So you enter a website and you click continue. It's going to show you a screen like this. Now to verify that you own your domain, there are two ways to do it. The first way is the simplest and one that I did myself and the one that I recommend to you. All I did was simply email support at myhosting.com and ask them to upload this text to my website. In five minutes, they did that. Then I was able to click verify and I was done. If you want to do it yourself, here's how to do it. Although I will tell you it is technical. It is beyond SEO. It has to do more with like website hosting and technical things like that. Even I get a little confused with these things because we're going to get the things that have to do with website administration. Now to do it, Google will provide you instructions for your kind of hosting. So for example, whatever you, URL you'll enter, they'll give you options for verifying your DNS and you choose your options. For example, like let's say mine was name.com and you'll say start verification. You'll log in to whatever your hosting is. The problem is everybody's hosting is different. So I can't really show you the example that's going to look the same for you. But after you would log in, you would add that text that Google gave you to your domain. You see, if you find this confusing, and yes, it is confusing, I recommend you click on full details. Google provides a, an official video for how to do this and documentation. There are two spots in this video that are interesting and worth paying extra attention to. On second number 47, Google walks you through the part where you choose your hosting and how to do it with your hosting. And on minute two, they'll show you if you can't find the instructions there, there's other instructions you see for all kinds of hosting. In this video, it's a little confusing how to get there. So to make it simple, all you would do from here is just scroll down and you've got two sets of instructions. You've got instructions for CNAME record instructions and text record instructions. When you click either of these, you'll see that it expands and you'll find this option for G Suite documentation for your provider, meaning that whatever service provider you have for your hosting, Google will have the instructions for that. Obviously, they don't have every hosting provider in the world, but they have many of the major ones. And so you would go through the steps here. Again, I recommend, because this may be too technical, to email your support. They'll do it for you. That's what they're there for, for these kinds of things. If you don't email your support, simply find the hosting provider that is yours and go through the steps Google provides you because this is the official documentation. Once you have uploaded this little text to your website, you can click verify. According to Google, with some hosting providers, it might take a few hours to get verified. In my case, this was immediate. So whenever you're ready, you just click verify. And again, because this is technical, if at any point you get confused, email your hosting support. They'll get you through this step. Once you've uploaded it, you click verify. They'll verify that you do own that site. The whole point of this is that Google can verify that you have control over that website, that it's yours. Once you've verified on the very same screen, 
let's say you want to go to your verified website. Here's what you do. You enter the website. This is my website, Wave if you like. It's a t-shirt store. You click continue, checking verification. Ownership is verified and you go to property. This is what the inside of my Google search console looks like. This is a very new site. So you see, I myself only added this website a few weeks ago. So they tell me a little bit about the traffic. They have all these other options. We'll explore all these other options in the upcoming videos. But in this video, I just wanted to show you how to register here. And during this process, you have to be logged in with your Gmail. If you already have a Gmail account and you're logged into your browser with that Gmail account, you're fine. If you don't have a Gmail account, you'll have to make one because all of Google services use your Gmail account. You can see here on the top right, I'm logged in as me into Google. And we'll be using this tool throughout the course and you should be using this tool for your own website throughout the lifetime of your website. So please go ahead and register for this tool because it's going to be extremely useful for you. It's also 100% free.